tomorrow. Cor Harlan has been out there this morning. He joins us with a preview from the Clark County Event Center. Cor. I'm back where I should be on ground, not on a horse, not on the back of a horse. This is uh, Steve Rother, who's here from up here near Spokane, riding a uh, professor this morning. How you doing? I'm doing great. It's, it's nice to be here. Yeah, it's morning. good to be here. I mean, if you got to be somewhere, yeah, might as well be on the back of a horse. Well. Steve is in the business of instructing people how to get comfortable in the saddle, right? Horse, what does I see? Horseteacher.com. Horseteacher Tell me a little yeah. bit about, because there is something, I, I don't get on a horse all that often, but there is something a little disarming for humans when they climb up into the saddle and, 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 and on the back of a horse. Horse, right? Absolutely. They're a big but majestic animal and there's a lot going on in these brains here and what we try to do with our program is we get more into that brain and have conversations with them but through exercises. It's not like a horse whispering technique but we set up situations for them to learn from to help build the partnership between me and him. Do a couple of the things that you're going to do out here. All this right, week. so we'll just, just start out with something real uh -huh. simple. Uh, to me, it's, uh, what I try to do is get a lot of purpose going and structure in their life. So it's a little bit like teaching kids. If you ask them to do something, they're probably going to do the opposite. So I'll just Correct. do a little simple situation here, and I'm going to pick my reins up and ask Professor to lift his head up. But then when he does it and he lowers it, which is actually what I really want, uh -huh. I will reward him. So here I'm asking it up, but he's actually putting it down. But in a roundabout way, that's what I want. So Are horses smart? Uh, they are very smart if you set really? things up. So what I'm going to do, I'll do one more exercise right, here, show a little more advanced maneuver. People are like, well, I can get my horse to put his head down. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set up a little situation here, and I'm going to put him into a circle. And I says, Professor, how's this circle working for you? So I'm going to ask him, ask him, ask him. And then I'm going to say, what would you like to do to maybe get out of that? So I'm going to set up <laughs> a situation here, which becomes more of an advanced maneuver. Yeah, how's that? and ask him to kind of turn around and then I'm going to reward him. So that's the same type of thing I did with the head down, but to get a more Good advanced boy. turnaround with him. Horses and then he'll dizzy. get a reward here. They get dizzy doing they this? They sure can, but ah. just like us, when they practice, they'll get used to things get and he's dizzy. very used to that get situation. Well, he's so. the sweetest boy. He's a sweet boy. He kind of likes you. You might I'm, have to try that. Huh? I'm not going to do any of that stuff. <laughs> Good boy. You are a good boy. Nothing like a man kissing a horse right that's there. That's awesome. That's awesome. That's awesome. How many times shows are you going to be out in the arena this weekend? You'll be here all weekend. Yeah, right? I'm going to be here all weekend. We're going to be doing four educational seminars for an hour. I'll be at my booth all weekend. Then I'm also going to be doing the evening show on Saturday. Something you guys will not want to miss. Yeah. So for you aspiring cowboys and cowgirls out there who don't quite have the comfort level that you need uh, in the saddle, Steve is your guy to help you out Absolutely. here. Absolutely. Professor too, right? Good old professor. Say goodbye to Jenny and Ken. Dear uh, professor. Good boy. You are a good boy. Jenny and Ken, that's it.